welcome to Fit at 60 and Beyond. You don't have to be 60 or beyond. We're just challenging you, challenging you to be fit, mind, body, soul, and spirit. I'm glad you've joined us today, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about revealing the real you. Who, who is the real you? You know, we go through this journey of life, and, and we take on these different roles, and I know I've, I've chatted about this before, but we take on these different roles, and there comes a point in our lives when we really have to stop and kind of ask ourselves who we are, who am I, who is the real me, and how can I reveal the real me? That begins with an inner search, and I know for me personally, you know, I got to the point, and sometimes I still have to do it, you know, when, when things happen in life, they may get a bit overwhelming, you just have to stop. There are days when I just have to stop. I just have to stop everything. I have to unplug. Uh, turning off my phone, the television, radio, computer, whatever it is, just unplugging and embracing the silence. Because a lot of times, we, you know, we have so much going on and the wheels are turning so fast in our head and, you know, we're, we're, we're distracted from so many different directions and we're doing so many different things. Sometimes we just have to unplug from everything and just be still, even almost close our eyes, just be still and allow the noise to subside. Allow the noise to subside so that we can begin to listen to our inner being our inner spirit and we can begin to get direction as to who we are, what it is that we have been created to do and how we can go about doing that. So there are times when you have to just stop, just be still. Sometimes it may take, you know, getting out. What has helped me has been to, to get out in nature. I'm, you know, I'm an outdoors person. I love warm weather. I know, you know, here in Atlanta it's a bit hot, but <laughs> I love warm weather. The beach, the ocean, oh my gosh, how much, much I miss living near the ocean. All my life I've lived within maybe an hour tops of an ocean. Um, but however, the years that I've been here in Atlanta, it's been a bit challenging because we're, you know, somewhat landlocked, but <laughs> this too shall pass. But, you know, getting out in nature, taking a walk, and just being surrounded by God's goodness and greatness. I can remember the years that we lived in Hawaii. Oh my gosh, y'all. There were times where, you know, we would be um, at the top of, there was uh, what's one place called Holly Lookout. If you, ever, if you ever saw the movie Jurassic Park, I think it's the original one. There, there are a couple of scenes in there, I believe, that were... Um, filmed in, uh, on that side of the Hawaiian Islands. Beautiful. You're, you're up so high. It's almost that. You, uh, it's almost like you can reach the clouds. You can touch the clouds, and you're just surrounded. From on on one side it's the mountains. It's the mountains. It's the sky. On the other side is the ocean. You're just surrounded by the beauty and the greatness of God's creation, and you have no choice but to just. Oh gosh, soak all that in. And in the process, you're soaking that in, you're meditating, and you're just listening to the Spirit telling, just listening to the Spirit talking to you and telling you, um, um, you know, what direction to go and, and just breathing life into you, really. Now, granted, I know we're not all in Hawaii. I'm not saying that we all have to, you know, be in that particular environment, but hopefully you all get my gist. You know, positioning some yourself somewhere, if it's by the lake, if it's by the river, wherever it is in your particular area, positioning yourself so you're surrounded by 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 nature and you're in a place where you you are in a place where it, it's quiet and all the noise is just has dissipated and you can really begin to think and, and, and um, tap into your inner being. So I hope that helps somebody today. I know it helps me. And when I'm in those, in, you know, in those places and in those environments, I take my journal with me so I can just, you know, write whatever comes to me, whatever um, thoughts I have. A lot of the things that I do today are a result of some of those times when I've just unplugged and stepped away. And, and God has really revealed to me the true essence of who it is that I am. So I hope that helped you. 
in some way, shape, form, or fashion for you to tap into your inner self and your inner being. Okay, our exercise for today, where are my weights? Oh, they're right here. Okay. We, again, if, you know, anytime you're embarking on uh, any type of fitness, make sure you check with your medical personnel first, okay? So we're gonna do, we're gonna work on our back a little bit today. And this, again, these are three pound weights. Uh, you know, we start overhead, your back is straight, your feet are shoulder width apart, your abs are in, and you're just coming down and pulling and squeezing those muscles, those back muscles. Pulling and squeezing. Pulling down and squeezing. Pulling down, bringing it all the way down. Bring it down, pulling it down and squeezing. I usually just take it to the, you know, to the uh, shoulders. Some take it all the way down, but um, I just like to squeeze it to here and work on those back muscles. So I hope that helped you. Fit at 60 and beyond. You don't have to be 60 or beyond. We're just challenging you to be fit, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Paula G Voice. There's a playlist for Fit at 60 and Beyond, playlist for the Paula G Show, playlist for my journey with Paula G and my radio and TV shows, respectively. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you for your support. Reach out, email me, Paula at Paula G Voice, if you have any questions comments, suggestions, or you just want to say hello. Thank you so much, and until next time, embrace the journey.